Next up, we have softball uh, with Mary Kate Newman. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Sweet. Uh, what are your personal expectations for this upcoming season? My expectations? Um, man, as always, I hope to go far. Um, I think we're going to try and put together a pretty good team. Um, you always want to try and look at the championship, but you, at the end of the day, you got to take it day by day. Go as far as you can. So what have you uh, done to prepare for that this season? To prepare? Um, we've been working out over the summer. We've worked out first semester, which we've never done before. Um, just trying to get stronger for the season, um, enter it as strong as we can, so hopefully we can make it through, not get tired halfway. Uh, what's your biggest game going to be? Our biggest game? I'm going to have to say JP2. Um, you got that classic rivalry. Um, we haven't won or beaten JP2 in a while. So I'm hoping to do that before we get out of here, um, at least personally. So what's your biggest legacy going to be? My biggest legacy? Once you leave Father Ryan. That's a good question. Um... I think just what I passed down to all the underclassmen and all the kids behind me. Um, I'm just trying to make a make a positive experience for everyone. Anyone who comes in, you know, leave it better than you found it. Um, things like that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay. Here we have Hannah Carney. Hi. Uh, Hannah, what are your biggest uh, expectations for this season? Um. Well, I really just want to grow like a strong bond between all of the players this year because in past years, not that it's been difficult, just it hasn't been a main focus. And as a senior now, I'm excited that that's something that I can really focus on for the team. So what have you done to prepare the team for that? Um, well, over the summer and throughout the school year, um, Dr. DeLauder has been um, calling in like all the seniors of the teams to like meet to discuss different ways to be a good leader and a lot of the points in those discussions are about like keeping a great bond and like not really um, not really like portraying yourself as like higher than the other players but just staying on the same level and just treating everyone equal. Uh, Hannah what's your biggest game gonna be or biggest rivalry? I'm really excited for the JP2 game because in the past that's been a big rivalry and it really like you never know what it's going like how it's going to go. Um, they could they could be like really good and bring their A game but we are going to bring ours too. So I'm really excited for that one. Um, so what what do you want to like have the underclassmen be recognized like you for? Um I just want them to, I don't know, I want them to have a good time and I want them to know that um, that it's just like a really welcoming community so that they can bring that and use that for when they're upperclassmen so that um, for like all the years after Mary-Kate and I leave that um, we can like carry on this like, I don't know, the whole bond thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Welcome, Coach. Oh, thank you for having us. Um, so, what what's your biggest uh, game for you think? Um, I mean, I think our our biggest game, of course, is going to be our region games. Um, I feel like for the girls, um, the big rival with JP two is 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 there. Um, but I feel like over the years. Um, Everybody in our region, we're, we're out to get. Um, I feel like BA in the past um, few years has improved a lot. And so I feel like our um, that's been a, a little bit more of a game um, for me personally as well since I went there. Um, but I, I'm just eager to kind of see how they react in those different situations. So uh, what have you done to prepare the for this season? Um, we've been working hard. Um, this summer we worked out um, three days a week. Um, and during this during the fall, we continued to work out um, three days a week in the fall. And we did individual stuff, batting, fielding um, in the fall as well. 
and um, these first couple weeks of practice have been tough with weather, um, but I feel like um, the girls have had great attitudes and have had a good approach, and we're looking forward to our um, first scrimmage this Saturday. Um, so who, who are your, like, best hitters? Um, right now, I mean, if, if, we're, if you're going based off um, last year, um, Paige Graham um, was one of our top hitters. I feel like um, Hannah Carney is probably going to step up in more of a power role for us this year. Um, but then, I mean, we're looking for consistency one through nine. So um, those are probably, if you want to say power hitters, those are probably our two strongest um, girls. Um, but we're looking for girls like Abby Brown, um, Jade Morelny to step up um, and um, offer some power as well. Uh, so who will be your uh, top pitchers? Top pitchers, uh, we're going to kind of share the load. We have three pitchers. Um, we have Lauren Riggs, who's a sophomore, and then we have two juniors, Abby Brown and Tori Rowan. So right now we're looking for them to kind of share the load um, and see who's going to kind of step up and take control and um, and get us to, through the postseason. So you said you had a scrimmage uh, this Saturday. Who, who will you be playing? Um, we, we actually have, so we play, it's called a play day, so we'll play four games, hour and a half each. Um, so we're playing Sycamore, um, Cornersville, um, Macon County, um, so a lot of different schools that we don't see at all in the regular season. So it's going to be good. Um, we have seven out of nine starters returning um, and probably 10 girls got a lot of extensive playing time. So I'm, I'm really eager to see kind of at the play day who steps up. Um, we have a lot of different um, situations or different lineups that we can use. Um, so uh, I'm excited to see um, the improvement that they've made over the summer and the fall and see um, who's going to be in our starting nine. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.